This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Sometimes when writing your VBA code, the line can be quite long and not on the screen. Now you can't just press return, because pressing return effectively finishes the statement and you would get an error. So for example, if I were creating a new subroutine, so in an empty module, you can create public sub, my test sub, open brackets, txt name, a string. So I wanted to list a few parameters here for my subroutine, txt number as integer, txt thing as double, txt more info as string. I'm starting to get quite long here. And you might think, oh, I need to do another one. But actually, I'll just put on a new line and press return. And you end up with error, 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 because you cannot stop the subroutine definition here without a closed bracket, which is what it's asking for, closed bracket. So if you want to start a new line, but effectively keep the same command, then the character you need to use is an underscore. So if I place an underscore there and then press return, you'll see that it's actually quite happy. TXT even more. That's the string and then close brackets, and then press my return. Then we get an error for a different reason. Now I have a space there. And then it's happy, and it even places the end sub for me. So the underscore effectively counts as continue below, and you can have as many underscores as you want. If this line gets even longer and longer, and you want to start a third line, just put another underscore and return, and the code is happy to follow through. Without the underscore and just pressing return, the VBA thinks that you've finished that particular command, and is likely to fall over at that point because you won't have finished the syntax correctly, as we didn't put the closed brackets there. Now, the one place you can't use the underscore is within literal values. For example, if we were doing the dim MySQL to create an SQL statement and try to put a whole SQL statement into a big line, select asterisk from TBL special offers where SID ID is greater than three and S expires is greater than 12 for 2011. I mean, we actually wanted that to be on two lines. Obviously, we need to get the syntax right at the beginning here. Dim MySQL as string, return MySQL equals. When we get to the end of that line, press return, there isn't a problem. But if we were to try to put that on two lines by putting a return in here, then there would be a problem. But we can't even take that return out, put an underscore and press return, you should find that falls over as well. You cannot put the underscore character in the middle of a literal string. The way around this really is either close that literal string off, put an ampersand, so the concatenation symbol, and then open this as a second literal string. And then you'll find it's a lot happier. Alternatively, another way of writing the same statement would be to start that off as it is, and then say my SQL equals my SQL ampersand this block here. So only having a complaint because I left an open ampersand there. Paste. So the two ways of getting effectively over the same problem that you cannot use that continuation symbol inside literal values, so inside speech marks. With your code, you can. You just put an underscore return and you can carry on happily on the next line and as far as the VBA is concerned that is the same line and therefore the same code to execute.